Yo, what's up guys? Uh, recently I saw some pretty cool videos where people are using voice commands to play like video games now. Uh, for example, someone was playing GTA, someone was playing Mario, and what they're doing is they're saying like, jump, and then Mario will jump in the game. Right? Jump! 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 Yes! So you think of like text-to-speech where you're writing text and the computer says what you write. This time it's like you're saying stuff and then it gets translated into like keyboard and computer commands and makes things do stuff. So uh, the videos are super cool and uh, I actually set it up and I was messing around with it and I thought it was super fun and awesome. So um, it's just a little confusing to set up. So I just wanted to make a tutorial in case anyone else was interested in setting it up. So what you do is you just go online and you type in VoiceBot. So type in VoiceBot on Google and it's gonna be this voicebot.net website. This is the software that you use to actually get your voice to translate into commands and it's really cool. So you just go to downloads, uh, hit download installer now. That'll download onto your uh, PC or whatever and it'll give you this, this little icon for the voice bot setup. So all you do is you just uh, click on that, you go through this whole process, accept the agreement, and you just go through all the crap that uh, you know is annoying, but you gotta do it. And then once you do all that, this little orange icon will pop up. And this is the actual software. So when you click on this, double click on the orange icon voice bot, and uh, it'll open up and it'll be running, right? So this is the actual software right here. Um, you can see it's re it's started right now, so if I pause it, we should be good. All right, so we got the software running. So how do we start setting up the commands so that we can like tell it what to do when we say stuff, right? Uh, basically, up here, right up here, it's gonna have this little section. You click on here, and it'll say like new profile, download pre-made profile, view all profiles offline, and manage profiles and stuff like that. Uh, you're gonna want to make a new profile. And a profile on this little app is basically a collection of actions. So it's like you make all of these little events that happen when you say certain things, and then a profile is like a collection of them. So we'll do one called GTA Test Drive. We'll do, we'll, I have GTA, so we'll play uh, a little bit of GTA. So this is our profile name. Now we wanna add some actions. So we'll click add down here. Okay, uh, so now this is where we can actually tell it what to do when we say certain things. So right here is what we're going to say in the name box. So we'll say drive, right, if we want to drive in GTA. Now the action we'll associate with drive is going to be hold down, and we're going to hold W because W is how you drive forward. And uh, there's a bunch of options over here, so make sure you're paying attention to these as well. Uh, I'm gonna do hold for duration. So the duration that I wanna hold it for is 10,000 milliseconds. Um, 1,000 milliseconds is a second, so 10,000 milliseconds is 10 seconds. So when I say drive, we're gonna, it's gonna hold the W key for 10 seconds and drive forward for 10 seconds. And that seems pretty good, right? So we'll hit okay, that seems fine. We'll also add a reverse. Um, reverse will just be the same thing, except we're gonna go backwards, so we're gonna use the S command, and uh, yep, same, same stuff here. Uh, we'll also add left and right if we wanna do some turning. And when we do this, we'll be going with the A key, we'll hold for duration, and we'll just do 100 seconds. Actually, we'll do like 50, 50 milliseconds. Um, just like a really light turn, right? Um, for right, we'll add hold, hold for duration, and we'll also do 50. Oops, I'm gonna put the thing. All right, so these are our commands for the GTA test drive. Just we go forward, we can go left and right, and we can go backwards, right? That's good enough for now. So you hit OK. And uh, basically what you're gonna wanna do is just, you have your thing here, it shows four macros, just meaning the commands that we built for the profile. And all you're gonna do is just click apply, and then we'll hit OK. Oh guys, great. So now up here, you can go right back up to where we started and load the profile. So this is the profile right here we want that we just made. So I have it, we have our, the commands will pop up right here. 
and then you could set your microphone. So I'm gonna use my Yeti microphone and then we just hit play to start. So now it will be recognizing what I'm saying and um, you know, recognizing these and trying to translate them into commands. So you can just open up your game now and you should be good to go. Drive. Check it out, see, got drive. So let's do it. All right, so I have GTA opened and uh, I got a car right here. So let's test this out. Drive. Drive. Right. Right. Right, 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 right. Oh no, I think I needed to make the turns a little bit sharper. Okay, so you see, you gotta kind of play with it a little bit. Reverse. Right. Oh god. Left. 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 Drive. Left, 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 right, right, left, oh no, the cops, reverse, uh oh, reverse, reverse, right, 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 left, 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 reverse, oh no, drive, drive, right, 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 oh no, left, reverse, left, oh god, drive, left, drive, Drive, left, left, drive, drive, right, right. So you can see how that kind of works. And when you're done, always hit pause, okay? And you wanna be careful when you set these commands up because if you do it improperly, your computer can glitch out. Like it could, I had it at the beginning, it was writing infinite A's or something. So when I came out, it was just opening all these tabs and applications. And basically when that happens, you have to hit control alt delete. It'll open up your task manager. Uh, you could find the program and then you're just gonna to wanna to end it. Um, so you could see that it's pretty fun. Like that was really fun. And uh, that's only with four commands, so you could add a ton of them. And if you don't feel like adding all of these commands, it's actually really nice how they have it set up. You can load profiles. So you can actually download a pre-made profile. It's up in here in those options. And they have them for, look at how many games. Look at the support. There's so many different games that you could play. And they have GTA, of course, which is what we're playing. And uh, yeah, so you just download the profile and check it out. These are all the commands we have now. So it sets you up with a lot of commands. Uh, this is the only pre-made one I've looked at so far, but it's pretty good. And then if you want specific things, like specific things that you wanna say to do things, you can just add them onto this pre-made profile, which is really awesome. So hopefully this gives you a gist of uh, how you can kind of get up and running with this software. Once again, it's voice bot. Just make sure you get the play, the pause, the microphone set up, and then you make the profile and you add the actions. It's as simple as that. Um, I just made this video because when I was on the website, I didn't see any like documentation for how to set it up. And it just was a little bit confusing for me. But once I got it, I was like, eh, maybe people would like a YouTube video on this. So uh hopefully you guys can enjoy this make some cool videos some funny videos uh you know it's pretty fun like i got addicted to sitting here for like two hours earlier just doing it uh because it gets really fun so uh thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe as it helps me grow my channel and uh yeah that's it so happy new year's to everyone and i'll see you in the next video all right see ya